looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're finally back. We have the face cam. We have the new mic. Let me know how the quality sounds on it now. You're going to see the mic here in a weird little spot right now. But I have a mic arm actually on the way shipping. So that should alleviate that a bit. It'll still be somewhere like around here, but it won't be directly there, but it'll, it'll, it'll be similar. But point is, guys, hopefully the mic does sound good. I'm glad to be back from the face cam. I think it's been about two months. You don't understand. My computer broke. I got, I got COVID. They took two months to repair my computer. And then when the repair was finally done, they actually messaged me and called me. They were like, the computer's not fixable. So I had a warranty on it, so they had to refund me the, you know, excess amount of X amount of dollars of it. And I used it and I ended up building this beast. You can probably see maybe in the, maybe in the shot here. I can't really see right now. But... That will be moved too. That will be moved. So eventually we should be back into normal team. But it is nice to be back, guys. But let's get into this, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on the noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you haven't already liked the video. Um, if you guys need any coins, head over to my reserve down below. And use code Poodle for 30% off. Take advantage, guys. Now let's get into the stuff. So we have like Jerry Sneed here, 96 overall cornerback, one of the LTDs. Now, guys, this might be the best LTD they've dropped all year in terms of uh, Thursday LTDs. He is looking like a better version of Deion Sanders, potentially. Now, if you look at him real quick, at first glance, you're probably thinking, oh, it's Jerry Sneed, right? But if you look closer to stats, he can be powered up. He has 95 speed, 93 excel, 92 agility, 95 jumping, 93 play rec, 95 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, and 94 press. So powered up and chemmed up, guys, he will get 96 speed, which already is one of the best cornerbacks in the game. He will get 99 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, and 99 press. He is going to be the all 99 corner. That's the fastest all 99 corner probably in the game. Now, Dion is close, but Dion does not get press, and this is a man meta this year, so the press is definitely useful. And we have a lot more stuff to go over, guys. Yeah, so here we have Anthony Costanzo, left tackle for the Indianapolis Colts, guys. Now, that's actually a pretty high overall card, 96 overall. So that means we are getting 97 overall LTDs now. This is exactly what I like to see. Now, to make it clear what I mean by this, is it's just this, as simple as this. When, in years past, right, when Madden's taken big breaks, like a month off of content where we don't get Team of the Week and stuff, they come back and all they do is give us the exact cards we would have gotten back in December, just in January, and they never adjust for the overalls, which always felt like a disservice to us. Like, the LTDs could have picked up at a 94 over 95 overall. Now, the fact that we're getting 97 powered up, just means that we're in line with the game now could we have already been on this track it's very possible could they have done that is that maybe why they accelerated them earlier on it's possible but again guys the overalls are getting higher and higher which leads me to believe like i said that i think we will be eventually getting uh maybe 100 plus stats this year not sure but anyways back to costanzo left tackle for the Indianapolis colds 96 overall really good overall 97 overall total uh he will have a 93 strength 97 awareness 92 pass block 93 pass block power 92 pass block finesse, 95 run block, 96 run block power, and 94 run block finesse. So he's going to be a really good run blocker and a good pass blocker simultaneously. So overall, guys, he's going to be really, really good. I mean, you can't really discount the fact that he's going to be able to do just about everything. And of course, if he is powered up, you will be able to get him up to, I'd say probably like closer to 97, 98 run blocking in some of those stats. You put zone run on him, maybe even maxed out 99. And then his pass blocking, you know, will be hovering around like the 93 to 95 range, somewhere between there. Overall, the card's really, really good. Is he a must-have, guys? Of course not. It's a left tackle. You know how Madden plays. Madden's weird right now. Like, you could have a 99 zone safety. And wide receivers are burning them on next gen. You could do it on current gen, and they're and they're locking up every receiver, and you can't burn anyone with Tyree Kill. It's just the uh, it's just the nature of how this game does play. So you kind of have to uh, work into that and just understand that that's going to be one of the things that comes with playing Madden sometimes. So, but yeah, he's a great left tackle. If you did, if you were looking to upgrade, you could. Now a lot of you might be thinking, like I said yesterday, team of the year is coming. Team of the year will give us five uh, startable linemen. Now the thing is that the team of the year linemen may only be 96s unless they kick up team of the year. 297s but if it's 96 they will get up to 97 powered up which would mean that costanza is pretty much the same thing now if you guys do plan on buying ltds i would wait for um in the series uh series 4 update now yes costanza will not be in there but pack odds will increase which means that costanza's price should come down a little bit or enough other stuff will be worthwhile but just wait on that but yeah let's get to the next card here real quick series 4 sneak peek so right here you see some of the reduxes guys this, we're not, this, isn't, this isn't all of them but this is going to be mostly the um the cards and what they're going to look like. So we have Strahan, Heinz Ward, Metcalf, Bosa, Breeze, Jenkins, DeAndre Hopkins, Engram. 
the next page here guys this is, these are all of the total ltds that we'll be getting series redux you can just read them here pause i'm not gonna read through all of them this will take a little bit of time uh you know pause the screen go through them read the names if you'd like of course we do have some decent stuff here now remember not all ltds will be as part of the reduxes like the costanzo and the legere scene that come out today will not be a redux card if you know what reduxes are they are pretty much ltds after a series update that become series redux cards they go back into packs they are accessible by uh, anyone in packs and their price goes significantly down so if there's a player on any of these lists right here that you have been wanting or you have been wanting but you couldn't afford you're in luck they're gonna be much cheaper like saquon let's see Devin mccordy roquan anyone else on this list now guys next we do have some updates here for the series four we will have mutt level 71 through 80 so new mutt level grind new level challenges new level master update so 95 overall now mutt master update 97 overall your team captain player like your Nias williams your Leroy glover eddie jordan so on we'll get 96 overall now plus one overall plus two overall plus one team chemistry now we have new team builders team builders are 32 new players that are 91 overall wish they were a bit higher guys but of course these are for theme teams so for theme teams rejoice you will be getting a lot of new players today a new elite exchange set 91 to 92 and a coach madden update so that's pretty cool that's going to be series four coming tomorrow now in terms of the players i'm gonna go through this pretty quickly because of course these are just at the end of the day they're decent players they're nothing too special so i want to make sure that we are going through that you know fairly quickly so we have todd davis from the linebacker nothing too great there decent hit power but way too slow uh tyler davison defensive tackle good power move, good block shed good on a falcon steam team nothing else though austin blythe blith he is a uh, center has good run blocking um good run blocking good you know decent pass block gonna be a well-rounded like maybe rams theme team center maybe just a well-rounded budget team center alex lewis i'm not gonna go through all this guys but good run blocker we have antoine woods it's, uh slow good block shadow not great though bobby hart right tackle good pass block good run block well-rounded bobby massey uh really bad run block but good pass block but again there's better options christian kirksey 88 speed and 89 hit power 90 excel maybe good in the packers theme team but not too great cam sims wide receiver 93 speed uh he will get some route running stuff you do just play fake on him or go deep not great though we have david andrews again none of these cards in comparison are going to be great so when i say they're great they're going to be great among their players among their peers within this and of course they will be good for theme teams so that pass blocking is going to be good the run block can be really good so not a bad center option we do have uh, Danico Autry. he's going to have high power move low block shed too slow draymond jones he's going to have good finesse move good tackle too slow no block shed Derek and uh, natty Derek, Derek and natty he's going to have a 92 block shed no power move though way too slow duke riley redison linebacker 89 speed not bad 86 block shed decent overall not great though Derek wolf Derek wolf left end for the ravens will have good block shed not enough speed no power move no finesse move or at least usable one emmanuel sanders Route, route, oh, he can be powered up though of course so that does help of course that he can be powered up but in terms of speed he only gets a 91 decent card i guess gabe jackson right guard for the raiders will have the run blocking uh decent some pass block decent but he's not one of the best uh, he's not one of the best offensive lineman players to take here i would not recommend uh gardner Minshew the second he has 82 speed 93 throw power honestly the throw power is good the speed's good but he cannot pass at all really unless you do go deep but his medium still too low i would not recommend Jordan Atkins actually isn't bad. 90 above 90 catching. We'll get um, the medium route running threshold if you put play fake on him and has decent speed. Jordan Brooks will get 89 speed, which does help. Um, 90 excel, 93 tackle, 86 block shed. And then we have a few other things here. We have Jermaine Carter. Now, Jermaine Carter, again, just like some of the other guys here, we are dealing with some of that stuff just in terms of, you know, low block shed, low power move, no power up. Jeff Okuda finally gets an upgrade. If you do have his Rick Premier, you will be getting a 92 speed, which isn't bad. 89 man which isn't bad impress usable uh we have jordan reed 88 speed kevin dotson i'm just gonna speed through these guys it's getting a little excessive here mason cole pause as you feel needed run block is decent well actually this car's not bad there's a lot of centers in here though mitch morse bad run blocking not great pass blocking not good mike pouncey good run blocking decent pass blocking mac wilson way too slow decent block shed and then we got nate davis right here right guard um uh, good run blocking actually not bad decent pass blocking and finally, Nick Gates, center for the New York Giants. He will have good run blocking, decent pass block. Not bad at all. And then real quick, guys, we did get some playoff news from Mutt Leaks, uh, or Mutt News, sorry. So the playoffs week one. So we are getting NFL playoffs week one. We will get one legend, 96 overall playoff player. We will get three heroes, 95 overall uh, players, mix of past performances and current. So we're going to get one from like this year probably, and then probably some legends, unless they mean current players. 
probably probably current like last week in the um, wild card. Four elites, 87 through 93, sets to earn players, NFL playoffs, so ultimate challenges, and objectives to earn Super Bowl prep tokens. So guys, that pretty much covers today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my day back. I do have a busy day. I have to go back and return my loaner computer and do some other stuff. But other than that, whew, feels good to be back. Exciting day of content tomorrow. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the noti bell. Like the video. Comment down below. And of course, if you guys need coins, head over to Mount Reserve. Use code Poodle, guys. Get hyped for tomorrow's Series 4 update. The playoffs. We have a bunch of stuff tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.